So you just upgraded from the A7 Mark III to the A7S III and you notice that APS-C mode is no longer in 4K. Should you live with 1080p APS-C mode or try clear image zoom? The short answer is use clear image zoom and in this video we're going to be exploring that if you've seen some of my videos already it'd be great if you subscribe and let's get into the video first off for those that don't know APS-C mode is when you're cropping into the frame so if this is your full frame right here and you crop into the center section of it so it's a magnified view this gives you an appearance of a longer focal range so if you're shooting 24 millimeter and you crop in it gives you an effective focal length of 35 millimeter field of view similarly with clear image zoom you get a digital 1.5 crop. However, it's Sony's version of zooming in while maintaining the resolution. So they do some sort of black magic. Black magic. And you get 4K while zooming in digitally. All right, time for the setup. First off is APS-C mode. You go to shooting, image quality, and then super 35 mode right here, okay? And super 35. APS-C Super 35 shooting. That's how you get into crop mode. Now let's show how you get into clear image zoom. All right, so it's similar, but you have to scroll down. So you go to the zoom and then you go to zoom range. You see zoom range, the second one, and select clear image zoom. That's how you set up the camera for clear image zoom. And then you set a custom button to zoom or crop, whatever mode you use. So here's my not so scientific uh, experiment. Be sure you're watching this in 4K or whatever the highest resolution you can handle. If it looks good for you, then it's good for you. End of story, right? All right, first off, we're using 4K at base ISO. The image quality is nice and clean here. Here it is using APS-C mode nice and clean here it is using clear image zoom nice and clean next up we have a low light test First off, 4K at ISO 6400. Now we have 1080p APS-C crop mode, ISO 6400. Clear image zoom, ISO 6400. So what I see is that 4K with clear image zoom is about the same sharpness as 1080p crop mode there isn't that much when you're working at base ISO but at high ISO that's where clear image zoom pulls far ahead in my opinion APS-C and 1080p mode is just really noisy at ISO 6400 so if you're looking for an image quality point of view then I would stick with clear image zoom next up we'll go over the quirks and if you haven't noticed already that when you're using these crop modes or digital zoom that you have less background blur compared to the full frame image. Ooh. That's just the nature of going to a wider focal length versus a longer focal length. So you're gonna have less depth of field at the same aperture. The quirk about APS-C crop mode is that if you're filming in 4K, you have to switch to 1080p just to punch into a scene. And that involves getting into a menu, setting it to 1080p, cropping into a scene, recording that session. And then if you wanna crop back out, you have to go back into 4K mode. And that workflow just doesn't cut it with me. It's just too fiddly. I probably wouldn't use APS-C plus crop in any scenario. So here's the quirk with clear image zoom. If you take a look at it, I'm gonna turn it on. And if you wanna punch in really fast to 1.5. <laughs> One eternity later. 
that is very slow. That's going to be a workflow problem as well. When you go to the menu, you're going to see zoom speed. Tap on zoom speed and the default is on three. So you want to change the default speed to eight, which is the fastest. You, you might not see it here, but let's see. It. Okay, you want it all the way to eight as fast. And I already saved it to my custom menu. So you can see it in action right now. Wow. That's it. You see how fast that was? So it takes about one second to go from one to 1 1.5 is really fast. Okay, so quickness is out of the way. We've got that resolved. There is another problem. If you watch my samples, you can see it going out of focus. So guess what? When you're in clear image zoom, you no longer have face or eye detect focus anymore. It's just whatever's closest will be in focus. And you can see it right here. Take a look at this. I'm not even gonna show my face, but if you notice the focus settings, right? It's on white area. As soon as I click that, and I go in, it's no longer in wide area, it's on center. And there's an outline. That's where the focus area is on that outline. So that's another con with clear image zoom is that you don't have your intelligent AF tracking, eye tracking, that is all gone. You're just focused on that maybe two thirds of the center frame. Yeah, you just don't have those fancy features anymore. So if you need that, it's not there. One last thing, if you want to clear image zoom and then you decide you want to do some slow motion, let's say 4K 120. All right, this is set to 4K 120. I set clear image zoom to my button. This function is currently disabled. Aww. Clear image zoom does not work in 4K 120 mode. Where APS-C, it will work with 1080 120 mode, but yeah, I don't really want to go back to that. So there's pros and cons to each system, but the workflow ability of the crop mode, it's just too much for me. I'm not going to do all that fiddling and clear image zoom is the one for me. That's what I'm sticking with. So if you have any hacks for this camera, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to my channel. I'll do more gear, tips, tricks, and reviews and news. I will see you on the next video. Take care.